The Canadian sports doctor who treated the likes of Alex Rodriguez and Tiger Woods could have a federal prison cell in his future. News 4's George Rickard is here with the details tonight. George? This afternoon it was revealed that at least one former Buffalo Bill received treatment from this controversial doctor who may now face two years in federal prison. Last year there were only allegations. Today there is proof and conviction. 51-year-old Canadian doctor Anthony Gallia walked into Buffalo's federal courthouse and pleaded guilty to providing treatment to at least 20 professional athletes, even though he wasn't even licensed to practice medicine in the U.S. He admits he obstructed justice. He admits he abused his position of trust. He admits he brought in the substances, he admits the value of the substances, and he admits the guidelines. Some of the drugs he administered aren't even approved for use in the United States, like Activagen. His intent was what it's always been, to uh, assist patients uh, in the healing of injuries. There is no allegation of performance enhancement. There is no suggestion of performance enhancement. Dr. Gallia's assistant, Mary Ann Catalano, took a plea last year. She went along for some of the 74 medical trips across the border, oftentimes over the Peace Bridge. It was Catalano who would actually carry the drugs across the border. And in these court papers, Dr. Galea admits that if questioned by border officials, she was supposed to say that they were only demonstrating the drugs at a medical conference. As part of this plea, Dr. Gallia agreed to pay the U.S. government $275,000 of the profits he made here. In court, it was revealed that if this had gone to trial, former Buffalo Bill Takeo Spikes might have been called to testify as a former patient. Another client was golfer Tiger Woods, who was only administered platelet-rich therapy. Which is perfectly lawful in Canada, in the United States. Now, Dr. Anthony Galley is free to go back to his home in Toronto until sentencing back here on October 19th, when the maximum he can face is two years in prison. George Rickard for the 10 o'clock news.